I think of uh, people who are sometimes attracted to certain aspects of our Anabaptism. So as they meet people, let's say in State University, um, when they find out, when there's people in the, uh, when their fellow classmates find out that we're non-resistant, that may seemingly be a draw. Mm -hmm. but, but there's a whole lot more. <laughs> and, and I hope that they, they would um, want to present the full uh, message. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and it's a challenge. So yeah, it sounds good. We don't uh, go to war. Well, that's really good. But there are a lot of other things that this is a challenge to the natural man. Mm -hmm. The Anabaptist view of separation under God. It's a challenge to the natural man. And so I hope we would see that and we wouldn't just um, present the parts that Oh, they like that. I'll tell. I'll tell everybody about that. But we really, this is a package. Uh, both being able to um, understand their faith in comparison to the to the challenges they're going to meet in college, mm -hmm. and I hope be a witness to people about coming even further into the into the truth. For myself, I've I've um, had several friends who, through our um, relationship became non-resistant, um, and initially not, not Mennonites. And uh, so that, I would hope that that kind of thing could happen too. One of them was, he was, a, he was just this young looking guy. I was at a, um, uh, an outdoor Christian meeting selling mm -hmm. books for choice books. He kept coming to my stand asking me all kinds of lifestyle questions, but he'd always go to non-resistance. You don't have TVs. Wow, how's that? Well, and you don't go to war. That was a big focus. And like I said, he looked so young. And so, and I knew he was going to UVA yeah. in the fall. So I thought he's a high school guy. <sighs> he went to UVA and the second year he calls me up and he says, you remember the discussions we had? I didn't agree with you back then, but I've continued to think about this and I've done some reading and I'm non-resistant. I want you to come down, I want to talk to you. So I went down, <laughs> this guy had joined the Rangers. Oh, wow. The Army Ranger. Right. So he's this parachuter, you know, supposed to go in there behind the lines kind of a guy. <laughs> I had no idea. And um, anyway, uh, so that, w that really felt good. And he told me, I said, you know, I'm not trying to make you beachy. He said, I know, I would, probably wouldn't have paid attention to you. But the funny thing is, about two or three years later, he got married and he went to grad school at Johns Hopkins. Okay. And UVA and, John and Baltimore... Um, uh, where I worked was about right on the road uh, there. He stopped on the way to Baltimore to tell me he's going to the Mennonite church in Baltimore. And the other guy, the other guy, um, is he's been here. And uh, he's also become Mennonite. Uh, originally, he was Presbyterian, and um, he eventually became a non-resistant Presbyterian, which is practically an oxymoron. So I don't think you have to pressure anybody or put any, or push in that direction, but some of this stuff anyway almost... Um, inevitably leads in that direction. Yeah, it's so. part of the package almost. Yeah, yeah. It, it really is a package. A non-resistant uh, Presbyterian, really? <laughs> <laughs> poor, poor Jonathan. I, I had two interesting experiences at church with him. Reverend Barnes was their pastor, so he's kind of a big name guy. Oh, this is National Presbyterian, where Eisenhower was a member. I see. One time he asked me to go to a, a, a youth function, and Barnes was talking, and my poor friend said, what, what about the Anabaptists? And Barnes gave the very reformed thing about, oh, these guys were destructive and, and uh, uh, messed up the church and all that. My poor friend kind of was slinking down. I said, it's all right, it's all right, I understand all this stuff. And then one other time I went to church with him, and after <clears throat> church was over, this guy in full military uniform, lots of medals and everything, gets up in the pulpit and talks for a while. Jonathan kind of slunk down again, you know, <laughs> kind of embarrassed about, <laughs> about that. But... Uh...